Good morning, everyone. My name is Cyrus Shackle with Topline Results, and today we're going to be reviewing the sales process in Zoho CRM. So we're going to take a look at leads, deals, and quotes and how you would work with them. To demonstrate this process, we're going to take a lead, we're going to convert it to an account, a contact, and a deal, then we're going to add some products to that deal, and finally generate a quote based off of that. So to start, let's take a look at Andrew Silverman with Silvershade Company. When I click on his particular lead, we'll notice that I'm taken to the lead page. Here we can see some of the information that I've already filled in. Now, because the purpose of the lead is to hold the information while I determine what to do with it, I need to use the information available to me to determine if this is a viable lead and if the information is correct. So let's say that I call this phone number and I talk to Andrew. I'm going to move the lead status now to contact it because I've been able to contact him. And maybe I gather some more information, I fill out a few more fields, and eventually the time comes for me to determine if I should qualify this particular lead or not. So now in the lead status, you'll see I can change this. And say they're not interested, I could create a junk lead, a lost lead, I could just say that they're not qualified, whatever the situation permits. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say that this person was interested, so I'm going to choose contacted. And now, when you want to convert this particular lead to an actual deal, you can use this convert button in the upper corner. So if I click convert, you'll notice that three things happen. I can see now that it's going to create a new account called Silvershade. It'll create a new contact called Andrew Silverman. And it's worth noting on these two that if there already was a Silver Shade in your system or an Andrew Silverman, Zoho will check along a couple different fields and try to determine if these are duplicates. And if they are, it'll give you the opportunity to merge this information with your existing information so that you don't have duplicates popping up in your system. Now the third thing that I can do while converting is choose to create a new deal for this account. So if I click on this checkbox, you'll see some information is automatically pre-filled based on what I had in that particular lead. So I'm just going to add in a closing date and an amount for this lead. And once I've done that, I can click the Convert button to finalize. Now you'll see that Soho created an account for me called Silvershade, a contact called Andrew Silverman, and a deal called Silvershade. If I click on Silvershade, I'm now taken to the Deal page. Now you'll notice a few different layout changes. First of all, you'll see that this process bar was added at the top. This is to help you track what process this particular deal is in, what stage they're in, so that you can track how far along this deal is and that you know what steps need to be taken next. Now I'm going to say that we've gathered some information, we've done our homework, we've gotten this a little further along and now we're in the proposal and price quote phase. Now, to add a different quote, you would scroll down to the Quotes section, or you can get there by clicking on the Quotes section in the left-hand panel. I'm going to create a new quote for this deal. Now you'll notice that if some of the fields have carried over from our deal. We see that some of the information is pre-filled, such as the address information. I'm going to add a subject for this quote of Silvershade, and I'm going to leave the rest of the information default. Now, to add line items to this particular quote, I can scroll down to the Product Details section and click the Add Line Items button. This will let you search along the different products that you offer so that you can add line items. For the Silvershade, I'm going to add a consulting package and I'm going to make it 10 hours. Now you'll see when I added that particular line item, I can see the price, the quantity, and the amount that is generated from that. If I wanted to add a discount or to calculate tax, I could do that as well. If you wanted to add more line items, there's this Add Line Items button in the lower left-hand side of the Product Details section. But I'm just going to leave this particular quote at this single line item. Once you've added in all the line items that you want to add, you can click the Save button to save this quote. Now you'll see under this deal in the Quotes section, we have Silvershade in the draft stage. I'm going to click on this quote and go to the quote page. Now we'll see right now it's in the draft stage. There has a couple different pre-built stages, but you could certainly customize these to fit your business's needs. As this moves through the stages, you may need to contact a customer or to send this quote. 
Zoho offers a few different ways where we can do that. If you go up to this top ellipse and you click on it, you'll see that you can print, preview, export to PDF, or send this quote as an email. I'll demonstrate the kind of report that it generates. When I click export to PDF, and I choose the specific template I want, we'll see that Zoho is able to generate this quote based off of the information provided. I can see the account name, the contact name, the stage that it's currently in, as well as all the product line items and a description of what each one is. If I wanted to export this, I could do so here. I could also email it to a specific customer or to a specific contact associated with this quote. Now, as this moves along the stages, it's important to go back to your deal and make sure that you have this on the correct stage. So if we begin to negotiate and review, I can switch the stage, and now I'm going to go back to the quote. And let's say that this quote stage moves along, and that we get to the point where we have closed and won this specific quote. Now, when we want to generate a specific sales order based off of this quote, we can come up here to the Convert button, and we see that we have the option to convert it to a sales order or an invoice. I'm going to go ahead and click Sales Order, and we will see that Zoho has automatically generated a sales order based off of the information provided in that quote. We can see right now the status is created. And we have the same reporting options as we had on the quote. If I click on this ellipse, you see I can print preview, export to PDF, or send it as an email. Let's take a quick look at the PDF version of this. The default template is quite similar. So if I take a look at this, I can see now it's clearly identified as a sales order. We have the information of the account. I can see when it's created, and I can as well see the line items and grand total of this particular sales order. Now it's also important as you move along the stage to go back to the deal and update this so that you can properly report and that you're not wasting resources trying to move forward on a quote that's already been won. So I'm going to go ahead and click save that we've closed one it. And now we can see that Zoho has marked this as closed one and that the sales order has properly related back to this specific record. Well. Now we've taken a look at the sales process in Zoho. We can see how we've moved along from stage to stage. In summary, we can see that when we take a lead, we gather some information about it. If we decide to qualify it, we convert it into a contact, an account, and an opportunity. Once we've done that, we take that specific deal and we gather more information. We move it through these stages. Once we reach the quote stage, we come down to the quote section. We add a new quote, add some line items to that quote, and as the quote gets accepted, we can convert it into a sales order. So hopefully now we can all appreciate how Zoho isn't just a program that helps you keep track of your contacts and accounts, but it's really designed to help your company throughout the entire sales process. From taking a lead, becoming a deal, and actually becoming real revenue, Zoho is there to help assist you with the entire process. So thank you all so much for listening, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.